Hey everybody, welcome back to the Print 3D channel. Today is June 13th, and that means day 164 of the 3DP 365 project. And on today's episode, we printed out this very cool honeycomb base, so stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back, and thank you for joining me here for day 164 of the 3DP 365 project. As always, down in the description there's a fact section. There's also the Matter Hackers affiliate link. If you're in the market for some new filament, just use that Matter Hackers affiliate link and you really help out the channel. On today's episode, we printed out this very cool honeycomb base, and our print turned out stellar. This is a very, very cool model, and the reason why I printed this so small, I know it doesn't really look like base size, but the reason why I printed this very small is I wanted to test out some multiple process settings in Simplify 3D because if you look in the inside of this, it actually is like a honeycomb and there are bottom layers. So I didn't want any extra filament going in because this is that translucent filament and you can see it's very translucent. And I didn't want any extra filament going in, I just wanted uh, the perimeters to go. So what we did is we did multiple processes in Simplify 3D to achieve that. There are seven different versions of this model too, so I had a, a good selection to choose from and I chose the smallest one to work with. And we used some of that Matter Hackers Pro PLA in the color of that translucent aqua. And like I said, it really is translucent. You've seen different prints I've done with this filament before and it really turned out awesome. But those were in base mode with a single wall. So I wanted to do something with multiple walls just to see how the translucent filament worked. And we downloaded this from Thingiverse and once we had it downloaded, we sent it over to Simplify 3D and we set up multiple processes. So let's head over to Simplify 3D and I'll show you what I did there. Okay, so here we are in Simplify 3D and I've dropped the model down on the print bed and we are printing this out at 100%. And if you were just to take your process setting and come in here and turn off your top layers and uh, add your bottom layers and add your perimeters, and we're not gonna use um, base mode printing for this and do all your other parameters. See, I ran a um, brim at 10 outlines just to make sure my extruder was fully primed and I wanted to make sure it stayed flat on the print bed. And also, this is translucent filament, so I wanted a few extra outlines because as it cools, it starts to take its color. And this would make it easier to see to make sure I was getting proper layer adhesion and a proper first layer. Of course, we didn't use any infill and no support. We have our two temperature system set up and our three stage cooling system set up and we ran this out at 35 millimeters per second. So these are some basic settings and this is probably what you would do if you were just going to print this without multiple processes. So if I hit OK and I hit prepare to print, and you can see that it's actually putting in bottom layers on some of these areas of the little interior honeycombs because they are almost flat. So what we want to do is we want to turn off bottom layers after it prints the actual bottom layers of the, uh, the little cup here. So what I did is I set up multiple processes. And the way you do that is you just double click on your process setting and you probably want to name it. So we'll, we'll name this base and we'll go into the advanced section and since we are using four bottom layers at a 0.2 millimeter layer height, that gives us 0.8 millimeters of bottom layers. So we'll stop printing at 0.8 millimeter bottom layers and that'll be our base part of the print. So this will basically take care of just the first layers and the base of the model. Then what we want to do is we want to add another process into here and we'll call this the model or model because this is the rest of the model printing. And then we want to go through and turn off all the settings that go past layer four. And this is very important because if you don't do this, you may have some changes in your cooling and your temperature. So we'll come in here and we'll make sure that after this, we don't have any bottom layers. So we'll turn those off completely. We still want four perimeters. We still want a 0.2 millimeter layer height. We don't want to alter our speed. We want to keep up the speed and we don't want to increase our layer width. So you got to make sure you turn all these processes off because if you don't, it will apply those when it starts to print. We also want to make sure we turn off our brim because we don't need that. We're not using infill, we're not using support. We do have a two temperature system set up, so what we'll do is we'll change this to 205 and we'll remove this set point so when it starts printing, because it officially thinks that's layer one. So you want to make sure that whatever temperature you're going to print throughout the rest of the print in this particular setup 
is the same temperature throughout the rest of the print when it restarts, so that's 205. Under cooling, so at layer four, it's gonna make its change and start doing the model portion of the process. So we'll delete these out of here, remove set point, remove set point, and this will be layer four, or actually, you know what, that'll be layer five, my bad. And we'll put this up to 90. That way the, the fan kicks in at 90% and that's our final um, fan speed for, us, for the rest of the print. And of course, we'll keep it at 35 millimeters per second. But in here, we want it to start printing at 0.8. So we'll put in 0.8 and we'll turn off the stop printing. So now we've set up multiple processes. So now what's gonna happen is it's gonna print the four layers on the bottom and then it's gonna start up process number two, which is the model itself. And in there, we will have a 0.2 millimeter layer height with four perimeters. We'll turn off the brim because we don't want it to air print a brim. And I think it actually ignores that part. Obviously, we don't have infill or support. We have our temperature set up to be our secondary temperature throughout the rest of the printing. And we've turned off all those other cooling systems. And we've made sure that we start printing at 0.8. So if we hit OK, and we have prepared to print, it's going to give you this dialog box and you want to hit select all and you want to make sure continuous printing layer by layer is, is turned on and hit OK. So now if you look, we no longer have those bottom layers in here. We just have our four perimeters and if I play this through, we'll play it up at full speed. You can see it doesn't do any bottom layers whatsoever on this print. So setting up multiple processes is very handy for stuff like this. If you're doing a multiple perimeter open top cup and you don't want to have or even any kind of open top object and you don't want to have any bottom layers printed you do need to set up multiple processes and this is a very very powerful feature that's in Simplify 3D and it's one of the things that makes it one of its best selling points is the ability to do multiple processes and have all kinds of different settings applied to a single model. So those are my settings in Simplify 3D and that's how you set up multiple processes. So let's head over back to the workbench and continue talking about our print. So that's how I set up the multiple processes in Simplify 3D. I actually just wanted to have bottom layers print first and then the rest of the model print without any bottom layers. That way I didn't have any extra filament inside. And I achieved that through the multiple processes setting that I just showed you guys in Simplify 3D. And then I sent it over to the GMAX 1.5 XT Plus for printing. And like, we, like I showed you in Simplify 3D, we ran this out at 35 millimeters per second because of all this geometry. And I really wanted to make sure it came out nice and clean. And as you can see, it did come out very, very clean. This is a very good print. There are no blobs, there are no globs, there are no layer skips. It's very, very smooth. The finish on here is very, very cool. And of course that translucent filament, it's very awesome and I love using it. And it really did bring out the honeycomb look of this model, which is exactly what I wanted it to do. And not printing any bottom layers on the rest of the model, we don't have any excess filament inside. And we also don't have a whole lot, of, there were like three or four little tiny strings in there from the extruder changing positions on the layer change. But I was able to just pull those out and I could have hit them, uh, hit them up with a uh, hair dryer or a heat gun and they would have just melted away easily. But other than that, this print turned out very, very awesome and I'm super happy with the results. And the test is complete. It does look awesome and it does really print out very well without having any infill at all and any bottom layers. So we just have perimeters and it looks really cool. So I'll definitely be printing out some of the larger versions of this face in the same filament. So watch for those in a further episode. But for now, I'm very happy with this and I'll actually probably use this as a pen holder on my desk. Well, that about wraps it up for day 164 of the 3DP 365 project. I hope you guys found this episode interesting and informative. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, like, and share those videos, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.